Hey everybody, it's Kelsey and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and tap on the notification bell so you can get notified every time I upload a video. Today's video is going to be my 16 week update and also I had a doctor's appointment this afternoon but it wasn't very interesting so I didn't record. Um, but at my doctor's appointment they did some more blood work. It was the second, oh heavens. It was the second round of blood work for the Harmony test. I don't remember exactly what they said it was, but it is one that tests for, sorry, I'm trying to not have a shadow on my face. It's one that tests for the spinal defects. I don't know, that's what they said. So I'll get the results for that probably in about a week. My symptoms for this week have been this week has been very very different this has been the differentest week yet this has been the least miserable week yet i i don't think i've thrown up since last friday or saturday i can't remember but i haven't been sick this week and i don't know if it's because i haven't been sick this week or what but i have been experiencing some major heartburn and i'm thinking it's because you know because i was so sick and like every time i ate i would throw up nothing had a chance to like sit there and burn so now i think because i'm not throwing up that i'm actually like having food sit there and i'm having pretty decent heartburn also this week I have felt not what you would consider a lot, but I have definitely felt some considerable movement. The first, the first one that I felt was Friday night laying in bed, and then I felt a few Saturday, and then I've just felt a few each day since then. And it's very, very cool. It's not like strong kicks yet, but I definitely know that it's him kicking. And it's very cool. What else? Symptoms this week. I've been experiencing a lot more back pain, but I do think that is in regards to digestive issues. I am eating a lot of fiber and I'm drinking tons and tons of water. And I am not as religiously as I should, but using... Babe, is that Metamucil or Miralax? Miralax. Miralax. I did yesterday and I did the day before and I will tonight too. But I, I don't feel very good in the digestive part. So that I think is definitely a contributing factor to, I just felt a peck. He moved. Um, I definitely think that my digestion is another reason why my back is hurting. A lot. So yeah. I guess that's all for symptoms right now. So about the baby. This is week 16 and he is approximately 4.61 inches and approximately three and a half ounces. His fruit this week is an avocado. And I love avocados. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have seen it. I'm sure you have because it was like super viral or whatever. But somebody wrapped up an avocado like in Christmas paper and this little kid unwrapped it and he was like an avocado thanks so I just love avocados and anytime I say avocado I'm like an avocado thanks anyways so what it says about him this week it says baby is listening to your voice thanks to tiny bones forming in his ears he is growing hair lashes and eyebrows he is forming taste buds and it says he is big enough to for your doctor to hear his or her heartbeat. Obviously he is. Um, they did use the Doppler on me today and his heart rate was 144. I'm not going to lie. I got a little disappointed because I was hoping that I would look up and get them to bring in the portable again today like they did my last appointment, but they did not. So I didn't get to see him today. And it says, stay on the lookout for fluttering sensations because your baby is moving around and you'll probably feel it pretty soon, which I have. 
It also says that some of the symptoms for week 16 is you start to notice that your hair and your nails are growing faster and thicker. I have not noticed that yet, but maybe I will. I mean, my hair does look pretty voluminous. I actually haven't washed it since like Monday. So it's like super dirty. And when it's dirty, you curl it. So it's curled. All right, let's see what he looks like right now. All right, all right. So, ooh, here we go. Boop. I love this little thing. You can just spin him around. And look, it's a potty shot with nothing there. <laughs> ooh, okay. So he looks like a baby and his ears are where they belong, which is very cool. Um, it also says developing backbone and neck muscles. I mean, he can hold his head up just a little bit more erect. Okay. Oh, and it also says his heart is working hard, pumping 25 quarts of blood a day. That is cool. And it says, no wonder your pelvic region is feeling heavier. There's about a cup of amniotic fluid in your uterus. So. Oh, also, I literally am peeing, like, every hour on the hour. <laughs> I'm peeing a lot. All right. So for my little checklist, how far along? 16 weeks, total weight gain. According to the doctor's office, I have only gained one pound. And that was, you know, from today. They weighed me today at my appointment. And then compared to my beginning appointment, I've only gained one pound since then. I am, I had Popeyes on the way home and I came home and weighed myself and I, like I said, digestive issues, so I'm not getting rid of everything that I'm eating. So when I show you my weight from like right before I did the video, you're gonna be like, whoa, she gained like four pounds this week. I really didn't, I just need to go poop. <sighs> my sleep this week has not been terrible, but just like always, it doesn't feel like it's very restful. I have noticed, however, that my nightmares are less like I'm still you know not dreaming very well and having stressful dreams but I don't feel as miserable when I wake up the best moment this week was finally feeling him kick that was so cool it's so cool I'm so excited he's moving and I love it do I miss anything you know I really wonder if wine misses me as much as I miss wine. Unexpected symptoms. Nothing. Except for the hiccups. I really have had hiccups every single day that I have been pregnant. And they're annoying. Skin conditions are... Uh, subpar. I really need to like exfoliate really good. I haven't done that in a few days. My shoulders are still broke out. I've got some nice, well, only two, but they were really big and I popped them. I'm not supposed to pick at things, but I just have a problem, okay? Food cravings. I don't even think I've had any pizza. I had cheese bread last night, but I haven't had any pizza this week. So, yeah. But I'm not really, I'm not really wanting, wanting a lot of food right now. I think because of the digestive issues, because I'm, I'm not as hungry because I'm not emptying myself like I was when I was throwing up all the time. So, yeah. And I'm not really having much food aversion currently. I did have a, what is it? A sausage egg and cheese burrito for breakfast the other day and it wasn't bad with the scrambled eggs and like I haven't had Lawrence's scrambled eggs yet but the smell of them isn't bothering me as much as it has the last few weeks so that's not too bad this week I think I've been mostly happy of course I have you know ups and downs and I'll have my cry sessions every now and then but sometimes you just need to cry okay I just need to cry <sighs> What am I looking forward to? We get to go do something special for Magnus tomorrow, so that's gonna be fun. But 
other than that, I'm looking forward to going to bed tonight because I'm extremely tired. My Kayla rings feel very tight today. Yeah, they're not really creating an indention, but they just feel tight. I don't know. I haven't really had much swelling swelling per se, but I have noticed that my broke ankle does feel puffier than, you know, my non-broke ankle, you know, puffier than usual because it's always big. And I actually did have a band-aid on this bug bite that I got the other day that I can't seem to stop itching at, but I put one of those little circle band-aids on it and it had this the square little gauze in the middle of it and I took it off like three hours later and I had this huge indention where the square was and I was like wow am I really that swollen but I mean like <laughs> let me check my leg real quick mm. I'd say I've got plus one edema right now it's not bad yeah that indention's not bad at all so not swelling I mean a little swelling but not bad I still haven't noticed any new stretch marks and I still have not had any cramping or bleeding and once again my belly button is just getting more shallow every single day and I don't know if I talked about this I've been talking about it a lot like in real life but I don't know if I said it on video oh my god y'all my neck hurts so bad it's because my big old brain is just too heavy no my, my neck hurts but Oh my god, where was I going? Belly button. Belly button. I guess because the skin on the inside of your belly button is not touched as much as your normal stomach is, so as your belly is growing and your belly button is like opening up, <laughs> I feel like that skin has so many more like nerve endings in it and it's just really really sensitive and it's weird and I do not like it. I don't want my belly button to be touched. It makes me feel disgusting. So yeah, now I'm going to show you the belly, and I just ate dinner, so I feel huge. <laughs> so, there you go. Alright, just look at it with clothes on. You know, those horizontal stripes are not supposed to be very flattering, but that's a freaking belly. I saw my mom today, and she was like, where did that come from? I was like, I know, right? Last time you saw me, it wasn't that big. But, okay. Ooh. And it's so cold. It's not actually cold. But like you can you can see it's like actual like belly now because I've got what is this? They used to be sex cuts, but that's not what they are anymore. But everything is just huge. But I'm not too uncomfortable with it. I just wanna like Ooh, that's cold. I wanna go to the potty. Is that right? I don't feel like this can be right because I feel so much bigger than that. I mean, it must be right. Hold on. Well, it's right at 40. I don't know what it was last week. I guess I'll have to go back and look, but I mean, there's no denying that I am pregnant. 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 Ooh, okay. So, here's how much I weighed today, and that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, let me know down here. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Oh, this is like, she doesn't even know I exist, but I watched um, Natalie Bennett's video today. It was... Um, I think it was tips to raising grateful children or something like that. I'll link it down here. I watched that video today and I was like, man, I want to be a mom like her. So I don't know if you guys follow her, but she's definitely like up there in my favorites, like of my actual YouTubers, like the actual famous people on YouTube. We got Ayla and Caleb and Natalie Bennett and they're like tied for first. So, um, go watch that video if you have small children or if you're going to have children it is definitely an eye-opener and you know it helps get you into the mindset of you know if you want your children to 
be this way then you have to be this way and be a good example and teach them to be grateful and it was very very awesome and I just I just sat there and watched the video I was like man I hope I'm a good mom like that so anyways I will see you guys soon have a good night and goodbye